Hi, I'm Sophia Vitella with Junior Journalism, and I'm here with Gloria Capozzi. Um, she is a part of the New Hope for Kids Foundation, and I just have a few questions for her. So, Gloria, tell me, how does it feel to have the mascot games finally back again after a long amount of time? Well, we are so excited. We just feel the strength of this as a community effort, and a, just the entertainment value in every direction. Kids love it parents love it, our sponsors love it, so um, we were disappointed, but we took our time and really planned and met with a lot of key um, people that are, have influence in the area and in the community to really do it right, and we are so feeling good. <laughs> Sounds amazing, Gloria. Um, how many kids do you think are here today, and also, do you believe that this event will eventually get bigger next year? I think that's 100% guaranteed it will get bigger bigger yet next year. Um, we over, you know, over the two days, fr both Friday and Saturday, we were thrilled to hear um, kind of our pre-attendance with all of our campers and we broke, you know, a record there. We love seeing um, some of the kids getting up even into the third tier. So to us, that's a visual excitement. And then today, again, it's that opportunity for those that work on Friday to come on Saturday with their families and to enjoy just good, wholesome uh, entertainment. That's so, it's so fun, so fun to see. Very nice. Um, do you think that today this was a good for success for you as well as your team? There's no question, Sophia. So much about what we do is about hope. And so much for our families to have an opportunity to really have something to look forward to. So um, again, it's a lot of work, but believe me, I'm standing here exhausted, but also quite satisfied with the weekend. Thank you so much for your time, Gloria, and thank you for all that you have been doing for not only the mascot games, but also the New Hope for Kids Foundation. I'm Sophia Vitella with Junior Journalism, signing off.